Mercy is a hero that fits into almost every team composition, so it's very, very useful to be able to play her well. So this is my second competitive game ever, the competitive mode released today, and this is the second game I played ever. And I'm just going to talk about Mercy and what makes her so good, because I think if you want to gain uh, competitive, whatever it will be called, ladder points or competitive ranks or skill points, you need to learn how to play Mercy, because she pretty much is like Mighty Putty. She just fills in the cracks in your team comp, and any errors in your team comp seemingly can be corrected by Mercy. She just makes everything more forgiving. She has the revive, of course, which is one of the most important abilities in the game. And even to have the revive is so monumental because oftentimes you can have your opponents burn several ults for about three or four kills, and if your mercy survives, you can basically negate it with just your ultimate. So it's a huge tool to have in your back pocket. It's just kind of, I'm just you know stating the pros of mercy. The healing is obvious, and it's it's target healing, one person at a time, as opposed to Lucio, which is AoE, but it's more powerful. And I think that it's better for tanks, because oftentimes you can bait your enemy into attacking your tanks, and your tanks just will not die if you're constantly healing them. Especially if you have another support character, like Traborn, the Dwarf, or Symmetra on your side that can provide other health buffs as well. And the damage buff, which I think is very underrated and definitely underused by Mercy's on my team at least. The damage buff, if you didn't know, is just the right click ability on Mercy. And it's a flat damage buff, but it's very strong on certain heroes. It's very strong on Pharah, Soldier 76. I like it a lot on Widowmaker, especially if you have a good Widowmaker. The guy in this game is named Nixon. So in voice chat, I'm like calling him Tricky Dick and we're bantering a bit. And he's pretty good, like he hits his shots pretty well, so if you see that your sniper on your team is talented, you can spend a lot of the match just putting the damage buff on them, especially if you're grouped with their team and the other team hasn't really set up their position to completely defend and your sniper is just picking off the enemy as they're setting up, that's a great time to put your damage buff on the enemy, or on, my, on your friendly sniper, excuse me, your Nixon as it were. You can see this game oftentimes we're just pushing the point because we've killed multiple of the enemy team so they're just running from spawn. It's times like this where you should really focus on using the damage buff after you heal everyone. And if you have a Lucio on your team your job is so much easier because you really just have to do focus healing and what I mean by that is whenever people get below half or whenever your tanks are being engaged on or whenever people fall under critical you heal them. It seems obvious, but this is contrary to non-Lucio team comps where you're pretty much focusing on heal. You're doing that, but you're also healing people who are 80% to full health all the time. And when you have a Lucio on your team, you don't really necessarily have to do that. You can use the damage buff way more. That's an important thing to note because your damage buff is very strong. You should never underestimate your damage buff. One of the ways that I like to use the damage buff is in coordination with your star player. So this works really well if you're playing with your buddy and you're playing with a bunch of bad people and you just really need a tool to carry the game. Accompanying a hero with mercy is one of the best ways to do that because you're... I w the analogy I would use was is it's like you're multiplying your own skill by two and a half. So Hypothetically, if you're as good as your friend, I think that you playing Mercy with your friend and being coordinated is better than you just playing two individual heroes who are kind of doing their own thing. Because a Mercy with a good player and a coordinated Mercy is a very powerful thing. So you need to keep that in mind. You should be looking on, you should be watching your team and try to identify who the star of your team is. If it's clear that someone's really good and you have really bad teammates, you should kind of throw your bad teammates to the wayside, at least when it comes to the damage buff, and really focus on the damage buff and healing your star. Another interesting concept of Mercy that I think people underrate is how well she synergizes with other support champions. 
what I mean by this is she's really good with the dwarf, Treborn, and the healing, or excuse me, the turret and the sentry woman, Symmetra. And the reason this is, is Mercy's real weakness is her immobility, sure, but really her health. So if you can help circumvent that with a Treborn armor or the shield of Symmetra, that's very beneficial. And obviously, if this is used on your allies and you're diligent about healing, it's incredibly powerful because it's just that much harder. You can see this game, there's multiple times where one of my teammates is having a 1v1 altercation with someone, and I, I approach in, uh, into the altercation and completely swing the, the tides of battle by healing my ally or damage buffing my ally. This is something that a lot of people don't uh, don't expect, and it's something that you can do even if they do expect it and just force their hand, because oftentimes once you're committed to a 1v1, you can't get out. So if any of those tips are helpful to you, leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe.